I just wanted to go over in this video a couple of things I kind of stumbled on today with the recent uh, documents command up in the solid edge uh, start menu here. And this is pretty obvious, but some of the stuff I just figured out today. So first off, um, you you know you can open a file by going to the open command, but the recent uh, documents menu will remember uh, a number of documents that you've recently opened. And it'll kind of fly out in this menu here, and as you mouse over it, you'll get a preview of the part um, as it was last saved or even the assembly it'll show you whatever you had and then by clicking on that you can go and open up the part obviously now a couple of things to note about the recent tab first of all is that um, by default it's gonna remember 25 uh, recently opened files right and you can actually go and change this by going down here into the solid edge options button and under the general tab um, you see that you'll have the recently used files list. Now I've noticed too that you can only see the general tab when you have a part or assembly open so just keep that in mind but we can go and we can change that um, to you know if we want to remember 30 files for example or we can disable it entirely in which case uh, it won't fly out every time we mouse over it if you don't want to use it. But there you can adjust the number of files that remain so I've increased it to 30 so that when we scroll down this list we're going to see 30 files. Uh, the other thing that I really like about this command is that you know if there's, uh, it'll always remember these files in the order in which you open. For example, I opened the cylinder most recently, so that's what shows up at the top. Sometimes what you might want to do is you may have um, assemblies that you go back to frequently, but won't always stay at the top. That's when you can use this pin command, and I honestly just figured this out today. If you click that, now that will stay pinned at the top. Uh, and we can choose, you know, a number of assemblies or, or parts that we frequently go to and pin those there so that the recent list will always update and that will continue to hold our 30 files, but we'll always have these at the top. And that's very handy for sort of um, a project that you're working on where you're frequently going back to one file and you always want to locate it quickly. Uh, of course, when you're done, you can just unpin it and it will go back down into the list. So a couple of neat little things uh, with the recent uh, document command.